Welcome to another unit in this SQL course. In this unit, I'm going to tell you how you can use SQL to add, delete, or alter different columns in your tables. So the first part is we want to add a new column, a new variable to our table with this products. Because, well, we know which products we have, so we could add a column here who is the respective supplier for this product. Going to close this. Whatever we're going to do, we're going to use first the command alter table to tell him which table to work with. Here it's the table products, so it has to make changes to products. And then on the next line, we're going to tell him what to do. So the first part would be we want to have a new column which is called supplier. So here we could simply go add and then call this supplier but we also have to tell him well what type should this new column be. In this case well, it should contain the name or the ID or whatever, so it's best to make it a text. Could be any type of number, could be a date part. Here at this point, we stay with the text format. If I save this query, see this looks slightly different. This looks a bit like the design view up here because this will make changes to the structure of the table. To execute this in easiest fashion, I have to close it and then just open this again. So it tells me, okay, here, this query want to actually change data in your table. Yes. Well, what did happen? Let's open the table. We have a new column called supplier. Oh, so far so good. This actually did what we wanted it to do. We have here a table where we could add different types of texts. So far so good, but how could we get rid of this column if we no longer need this? Well, let's use the same one for this. We are still working with the table products and we want to change this. So we stay with alter table. But to get rid of this, we use the command drop. Drop and then the number of the respective column. We no longer need the type. Here it suffices to just say drop. You can save it. Close it. We see it's still the same symbol as before, meaning we're going to change our table in one way or another. So if I double click this again, he tells me this is going to change something in your table. Yes. Let's take a look. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. Let's take a look at the product part here. Well, this column is gone. There's no longer a column called supplier. Well, at this point, I'm going to need a column called supplier. So I'm going to make it a new. At this point, it's a text column. It will contain any type of text. So if I want to change this afterwards, want to change this afterwards with SQL, I could use the command alter column. Then I just have to tell him, well, which column, which type, alter column, supplier, let's say type date. Save this. Still again, he's going to change something if I double click this. Change the table. Okay. Go to products. Well, it still looks the same, but let me enter some information here. You see, I get an error message here. I cannot enter this because this is not recognized as a date. So it always tells me this does not match the date time data format. So yeah, he changed the type. It's no longer text. It's now a date field. And well, that was then everything I wanted to tell you in this short session, how we can use SQL to generate new columns, to delete or drop 
columns we no longer need and how we can change the data format of already existing columns. So I hope you enjoyed this session. I say goodbye and see you next time.